Okay. Uh, Josh and Mike, I will interview you together. You're gonna come out on YouTube. You will be the latest YouTube sensations. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, Josh, could you send me your questions? Wait. Uh, did you did you send it to me? The questions that sir, came uh, up in your test. Wait, wait, wait. I'm backtracking. Like a screenshot, sir. Yeah. Oh, it was a screenshot. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'll send uh type it uh, yeah. Yeah, Naka I'll, I'll need to type it now. Wait, I'll I'll look for it. I'll send it oh. to you again, sir. Uh, I found it. Okay, all right. So I'll type it, Josh, because I need to send it out to the people. Uh, let's begin with Mona this. Sorry, send to Okay, but, but I gotta type it, Josh. I, I have it, okay, Josh. Sir. It's okay. Uh, and then what was your? When was your speaking test? Mike, do you have yours as well? Yes, sir. Um. Okay, you sent it to me as well. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So, uh, what was your examiner, Josh? What nationality? Oh, the Filipino. Oh, uh, yeah, the Filipino teacher. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Galing. Galing, huh? You beat the, yeah. Filip you beat the Filipino um, examiner. I think she was around 50s. Oh, wait. Not that? Yeah. 50s okay yeah. you beat her okay and then and that was even idp right okay filipino exam yes, and then when was the exam again josh yeah it was on october 28th okay yes october 28th all right <clears throat> uh so i'm going through the questions josh uh, do you work or are you a student? We've gone through that question like 50 times already. <laughs> and then uh, the question, the next one is, does your work, Josh, you have so many questions. Yes, sir, because she you was so many questions. Like, interrupting me before I can elaborate my answer. Okay. Were you worried about that? No, you were expecting it. I think like I was not like uh intimidated by her uh -huh. like i want to be friendly or uh, like to be conversant with her mm -hmm. so you didn't take it personally yes sir like i want to be in the flow of the the test okay like like i don't care what uh, whether she was interrupting me or not okay. as long as i answer with my own, yeah. All right, okay. I don't care. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> that was your. That was the song running in your head, right, Josh? And I was the I last. I don't exam. care. Eh, eh, yeah. eh. <laughs> At that time. Okay, you didn't want to be affected. And then the next one was: Does your work entail a lot of effort? How did you answer that? It does. Yeah, I said uh, absolutely. It does, and I related to my work at the ICU. And okay. It really entails a lot of time and effort because of the condition of the patients there. Okay. The next one was, what do you do after work? Okay. So you, Josh, I'd like to hear your answer to that. Yeah, uh, I said that. You should have said something okay. like, duh, I rest. <laughs> Like, yeah, I said uh, that. I said that. Good thing. <laughs> good thing my my home was my home is around five minutes travel only. So I I had a lot. I have a lot of time to lie down and rest. Okay. Then. Uh, and then you went into the names. Does your name have special meaning? Did we ask this question in the trails? Yes, sir. In the is it the uh, full, full speaking math test, sir? Oh, that came yeah. out. 
Okay. Yeah, you asked me that that game that question, sir. Okay. And then wait, Josh. Before we go on, how many were you in the venue? That was a typhoon day, right? I'm sorry, was uh signal number two, that time. Yeah. How many were uh, in the venue? This is in I'm the last Bar one. Yeah. I, I was the last one, sir. So when I went there, there was the another stunning. And then... Ange, <coughs> pamute, Ange. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. But later, you talk later, guys. I'll just... Hi, Ange. They are the Osmak so, peeps. Okay. Yeah. Uh, My schedule was... Uh, Around 5 30 p.m. Then the 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 lady from IDP called me around 4 30. She said that if I could if I could go early at the venue so that I can have my speaking test. So, so because oh, I she it was, you. yeah, she called me because uh she was waiting for around two examines left. I see. Okay. And I was the last one. Where were you arrive. when she called? Uh, I was driving towards, um, and oh, I was okay. also stuck in the traffic because of the typhoon. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. Bye. Your exams, oh, yeah, I remember we were still in the bubble stand, right? Yes, yeah. sir, you were okay. drilling okay. me at that time until All I right. had a rough job. <laughs> until, <laughs> until you went into the ventricular tachycardia. <laughs> DTAC. And then the next one is... It was a uh, video call, sir. Yeah. Oh, it was a video call that they when they called? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then do you have the same name in your family? Ah, oh, do you have somebody with the same name in your family? Okay. This is an out of the box, but it's quite easy to answer anyway. And then... Huh? Yes, what? I was surprised by that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Like, do you have any other questions besides that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, aren't you be Aren't you being too uh, intrusive into my life? <laughs> like I was, I was thinking in the back of my head, like, do you, uh, what is what is, uh, like? There's no sense in asking with that question. <laughs> yeah. What's the point of this question? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did you just come up with that question right now? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then you moved on to, my God, we're already at question number six. So many questions. What are part one? What are the famous names? This is another out of the box, Josh. How did you answer that? Yes, what sir. are the famous names in your country? Yeah, I answered it during the drill, sir. Um, oh, you did? Yeah. It was, was asked during the, the drill. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it, it's also in the app. I answer that uh, they are patterned or copied from famous personalities ah, and athletes. Okay. Yeah. I see. It's similar to the how do people in your country name their children. Similar to yes, that. Yes, sir. Like, yeah. Okay. And then, did you mention the, what's that word? Portmanteau. Combining the syllables I, of their parents' names. I haven't mentioned that, sir. <laughs> oh, that would have been a great word. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> then when you were a child, did you play word or number puzzles or Sudoku? Okay. Josh, this is so out of the box. Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah. I answered yeah, so uh, only word puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I elaborated it like I find it boring with the numbers like that. Okay. But I use some other words for that. Like, Josh, that I was a past what... tense question. You yes, were sir. aware. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. You were locked jawed already into the past tense questions. <laughs> locked jawed. And then do you prefer word or number puzzles? Okay. I answered, uh, yeah, word puzzles. Okay. And then, do you use puzzles while traveling? Come on, man. I said, like, 
Wag I travel. Like... I use my cell phone, ma'am. I use, yeah, yeah, I use my cell phone. Who uses yeah. puzzles while traveling? <laughs> yes. Magkakalat <laughs> yun. Well, how did you answer that anyway? Sometimes yeah, I said that the so thing funny. we have, mm-hmm. we have our smartphone, that we have apps like puzzles, so it helped me like to be awake while commuting like that. Okay, mm. is that was that a true answer or was it just bull <laughs> bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> and then finally it ended. Okay, Josh, you were feeling good. Wait, generally were you nervous going into the test or you were you just slightly inconvenienced? Yeah, at first I was, I was anxious, sir, because maybe I was guessing that the examiner is a Filipina. And uh, around 50s, and bad for me, it was my guess was right. <laughs> okay, your guess was right. I was hoping for a foreigner examiner. Yeah, yeah. was she in the venue? The examiner, yes, sir. Uh, it was a video, she was there. Ah, a video call, okay, it's so a video she, call, sir. Yes, sir. She didn't travel to Tacloban. He didn't say. Uh, okay. There was only a, one invigilator from IDP Cebu. Okay. From Cebu. And I think we're only nine, nine to ten test takers at that time. Okay. All right. And I was the only boy. Okay. So maybe help? maybe the okay. part, yeah, maybe the part two questions was also the same with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's about so, beauty. Yeah. Part two question is describe an object that you think is beautiful. We are so ready for that, right? And then yes, wait. It, it, mm, you answered, if I remember correctly, mobile phones, correct? No, sir. Okay. It was a uh, yes. All right. It was a painting. A painting. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The painting from uh the one in Laguna. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, I still remember. Okay. So no problem with that. Smooth as silk. I think no, sir. I had some tensing, like one to two tense problem that I corrected you detected, myself. You corrected yourself. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> All right. If Indeed. I remember it right. Yeah. Okay. And I use some agents and more lexic, uh, more vocabulary about beautiful. Okay, like what, Josh? Yeah, it, uh, for example, it was alluring to the eye. The purpose, I mean, alluring. Like, yeah, it has uh, it was a picturesque, vivid, has vivid color. Vivid. And I also use how how do you feel about the painting? Like I was astonished. Uh, Fascinated like that. Whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You should have gotten a 7.5 at least. Anyway, we're happy with the seven. Okay. Yes, sir. And <clears throat> you finished the story. You were able to cover it all. You didn't I covered the bullet and then I when I think that two minutes will has not yet passed. I I like I extend my answer like that I took up the picture and up till now. Okay. Like, I and see. I also showed it to my wife. Like she was also surprised or like she was also amazed like that. Okay. And then after that she interrupted me. All right. Okay. But Thank I think you. I've answered all the bullet questions. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then we're now moving to part three, Josh. Wait, was there a follow up question to that part two? Uh, no, sir. None. Okay, you jumped None. to part three. Yeah. So, oh my God, so many questions for part three, Josh. You were locked, John. <laughs> the way we do it in the yes, bubbles. Sir. And then maybe you were. It was also. Yeah, you were also. The box questions. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you were thinking to yourself, bring it. I'm so used to this. I do it every yes, day. <laughs> it's what they do to me every day. And I also use some hedging, sir. 
some cheats. Oh, you did? Okay. Like, there, there was a one question that I used a cheat for that. Okay, let's go through the questions and let's uh, run through the, the, the cheat question. So the first one is, what are the famous uh, beautiful nature attractions in your country? <clears throat> so what did you answer to this, Josh? Yeah, I named the famous uh, beaches like in Boracay, Coron, okay. Palawan, Chargao, and the whatnot. Right. Like that. Did, you, did you say that, whatnot? Yes, sir. I okay. use that. That's that's BK's word. That's her yeah, word. Yeah, I copied but it from not. her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's her bad 8.5 word. <laughs> what not. BK, what not. Okay. And then the second one for part three was why do tourists love to go there? Uh, duh. <laughs> How did you answer that? I've used some idioms for that, sir. Okay, like what? We have a lot of idioms for that. Like, oh, touch okay. base with your soul, recharge really? my battery. Like really? <laughs> okay, you use the quiet place idioms. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. And then <laughs> she should have given you an eight already by this time. Duh, examiner. <laughs> and then the yeah. third one was... What are the advantages? Oh, Josh, you threw you a crossover. What are the advantages and disadvantages yes, of visiting those places? Let's run through this, Josh. So you went yes, to the sir. Uh, I was I was starting with the advantages, like uh, uh, there were uh, tourism will produce more local employment for the local people, and then. Right. Establishment of infrastructures like casino, hotels, uh, hospitals, and then she interrupted me. Like oh, you I was able to go into the like I was yeah. She interrupted me and then she asked again, "What are the disadvantages?" Like oh, that. okay. So like she, she like, I don't know if she did it or she cannot wait for me to answer about the disadvantages. Okay, all right. And but I was the going there. Yeah. Okay. What did you mention for the then, disadvantage? Yeah, like there are, for example, the did I mention? It's a, I, I I will remember. It. Yeah. Oh. What are the disadvantages of going to Boracay? Like exploitation of mm. nature. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And there are there are isolated cases and undocumented situation like people are getting exploited for mm. some tourists and then and also the nature like there were there are a lot of especially the beaches like mm. sand mining like that. Okay. All right. And nice. some some endangered uh species being caught. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I guess you were quite used to the out of the box as well, right, Josh? Yes, sir. Like yeah. we we always throw out of the box questions, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then the next one was tough. In terms of beauty and art, which is more famous? Music, painting, or literature? Okay. Yeah, that How was a tough answer? question. Yeah. I, I, like I was, I used cheats, like what, in what my did you say? to be honest, to be honest, I, I really don't know what to answer, but to my thinking, I think it's probably music because it's so rampant and, and people do have access to music. Uh, nice answer. Everywhere, rather than paintings and other form of arts like that. That's okay. It. So nice. This and then it. the next one is why do people in history why did people in history create beautiful things? Whoa. Yes, sir, I also you used to this. <laughs> yeah, why I said did that. people in history create beautiful things. 
I answered like, uh, uh, maybe they want to be remembered. Um, uh, oh, wait, oh, wait sir, I did you use some cheat on it? Uh, yes, sir. I use some cheat. Like, uh, I'm not really sure with that. Uh, not really kind of the historian type, and then mm -hmm. I said maybe they want to express themselves through through arts, and then they want also to be remembered uh, nice. through their arts, like to leave a legacy. Nice. Okay. All right. And then I was, I was, uh, I was surprised that she follow up with a question, why? Why like that? I see. I think she was. Like, like I, I think she was like testing me for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And how did you answer I, her? Why? Like I why? want to, like I, I answered another reason, and then after that, the end of the question. As that's the end of the exam. Okay. Were you the last examinee, Josh? Yes, sir. Okay, how was it? Exam. Oh my god, you were the very last. And how how was it going back home? How was the weather then? It's it was still um rainy. Uh like the wind are stronger were stronger and heavy rain too. Okay. Yeah. But how did you feel at the end of it? Like I got this in the bag. Something yeah, I like think uh, I think I was hoping for uh, or hoping for a minimum of seven. Okay. But, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> okay. All right. But I, 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 drew a lot of, I drew a lot of idioms and vocabulary. I think that was my my strength at that time during okay. the test. All right. Oh, wow. We, we had so many of them. You should have scored higher. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they want me to remark. <laughs> Let's go for a remark. <laughs> and then but I'm good with seven as well. <laughs> yeah, we're very happy with a seven. Yeah. And actually that reminds me to ask you the same question I'll be asking Mike later. So don't leave yet, Josh. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna go back and to the your your uh, yeah, your theory was proven, sir. Like which one? Only I had book with British Council rather than IDP. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's a yeah. good thing, right? It's a good thing that yes. uh, it turned out. It turned out to be successful in the end. You beat IDP. Yes, sir. You beat the Filipino examiner. <laughs> <laughs> Filipina, sir. <laughs> the Filipina examiner. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to you, Josh. That's why I interviewed you with Mike, because you two yes, are sir. so similar. Okay. You both came from the yes, review science exam from another review center. So I'm going to go into that later, Josh. Uh, sir, um, I only had self-review last year. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. All right, all right. And then... Yeah, I'll get back to you, Josh. Mike. Yes, sir. Mike, I'm looking for your. Do you have it in our chat? Um. Wait. Yes, sir. But it's been. Wait. Let me see. One month now. <laughs> it's been a month. Uh. Oh, I have it already. Okay. There. The power of the search button. So your exams, October 7. So after yes. Mike's exam, you had that full month to drill, Josh. Okay. <laughs> and then October, uh, wait, uh, official band 7. Okay. Um, October 7, uh, British, Mike. British, yes, sir. British guy, girl? Guy. Okay. Whoa. Did you feel good when you saw him? Yes, sir. That's my... Uh, I initially um, thought of um, an answered prayer. 
<laughs> yeah, an answered prayer. Did, did you know the story of Neri? So Neri goes to the IELTS exam, and then there were internet. There was an internet problem. So he had one interview. He had one examiner. I forgot the nationality. It was. <clears throat> Uh, it was a difficult choppy exam. So he had to wait. And then he was led to the second. The same thing. And then he had to wait again. He was, I think he was waiting over two hours. And then he oh, went no. to the third examiner, British. And then there were some internet lags. But he said, no, I'd like to go on with this interview. Because he was a British examiner. <laughs> <laughs> Merrick was saying, no, 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 it's okay. I'm gonna go through this interview. <laughs> I don't want I don't wanna change this examiner anymore. <laughs> okay, Mike. So um, your first question, uh, of course, is the name, right? And then yes. do, do you currently live in your hometown? There was yes, no hometown sir. question first. Like, could you tell me about your hometown, something like that? No, sir. It was um, the question at once is that, do you currently live in your hometown? Right. And then on. I just uh, elaborated, sir. Okay, elaborated on the Gupan. Yes, sir. Okay. And then, so easy peasy. And then, like, uh, maybe you should have said, uh, duh, that's why I'm here <laughs> taking this exam <laughs> in Dagupan. <laughs> I wonder what grade you're going to get when you answer like that. Duh! <laughs> and then the sec second one was, do you know anyone near <laughs> your hometown? <laughs> so funny. Okay, how did you, do you know anyone near your hometown? How did you? <laughs> um, yes, sir, because I took the exam in Kalashau, uh, nearby. Um... Ah, Kalashau. Yeah, in Kalashau, sir. Oh, it wasn't in the Gupan. It wasn't in the Gupan. Um, for IDP, it's uh, located in the Gupan. While for mm -hmm. British, it's in the Monarch Hotel in Kalashau. Oh, in a hotel in Kalashau. Okay. All right. How so my sister, is living, yeah, my sister is, li is living in Kalashau. So I simply mm -hmm. um, answered the question. Uh, I told him that um, I... Um, my, si my sister is currently living here and um, every week I uh, was able to travel from mm -hmm. um, my residence to her house. Okay. You, know, <laughs> you, you, you actually do that? You travel often to your sister's place? Yes, sir. Okay. Because it's just uh, uh, two rides away by GP oh, okay. from my home. Monarch, is that a big hotel? Um, yes, sir. And it's Isn't there a monarch in the Gupan as well? No, no, sir. Oh, I Lenox. see. Lennox Hotel. Ah, Lennox. Okay. All right. Then the next question was, oh, it's a past tense question. He went into your birthday. How yes, did you sir. celebrate your last birthday? Yes, sir. Um, I was able to uh, drill this question, sir. So yeah, so many times. I think I yeah, I've answered this correctly. Okay. And you are correcting my past the, the past tense. As you were aware, it was a past tense question. Yes, sir, I am. Okay, you detected it. Yeah, you're trained for that. Okay. And then, but how did you celebrate your last birthday? Um, I have told the examiner that um, I celebrated my birthday um, last year with just as... Um, we this sorry can I say sir and I did deteriorate English sir eh. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, but, uh, it I was celebrated a with my yeah, I celebrated with my family as sinagot ko nagagal kasi as compared when I was um <laughs> okay. I was, uh, advanced officer. So don't can elaborate mga bute. <laughs> you were expecting the, the next question which is <laughs> do you celebrate your birthday? Did you celebrate your that was in the app, right? 
Did you yes, celebrate sir. your birthday differently when you were a child? <laughs> yeah. Actually, that is his next question. Is there a difference between the way you celebrated your birthday okay. in the past and the present? So I just um, repeated the answer. <laughs> With Tom, <laughs> ano na sir, um, dinagdagan ko na. <laughs> okay. To make it more conversational. <laughs> you were expecting that question. Is there a difference between... Tawa rin ako sa sarili ko, sir. Buti hindi tayo napapansin. Is there a way you celebrate? you celebrated your birthday? Wait, I'm typing it down, guys. Um, your birthday in the past uh, and in the present. Okay. In the past, how did you celebrate your birthdays? Like a birthday party? Yes. Um. Um. I told him. Um. When I was um a child, I usually uh, like to celebrate my birthday with a theme and some. Um, type of performers like clowns, though it was an long sir makeup story. Okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like maybe in a restaurant in Jollibee or McDo when you were younger, was it was that how you celebrated your birthday, Mike? I'm sorry, sir. Um, imagine um, naputol po. When you were younger, did you celebrate it in a restaurant, a fast food restaurant? Um, I didn't mention it, sir. Um, I just um, answer it in general way. Okay. All right. Because that's how we celebrate birthdays normally. Yes, Already, sir. right. And then he went into the snacks. So what was your snack when you were young? How did you answer um, that? I told him, um, since my mother um, had... Her banana tree in our backyard oh, every day. Mm -hmm. Makeup story lang, sir. <laughs> Wala akong may snack, sir. Actually, ano. Um, I just buy na canteen lang, gano'n. <laughs> so, para lang, ano, sir. Kasi baka okay. banana niya ako ng nutritious na naman. Na, ano. <laughs> Inunahan ko na, sir. Inunahan mo na. <laughs> eh, bakit nutrition? Kaya, kaya mo naman yung nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just made up the story about the banana tree in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you because describe day, it? Yeah. Like banana cube, something like that. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, variety of um, how to cook banana, sabi ko, sir. <laughs> so, healthy ka, guys. Para hindi ka nun yung panas. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Para... <laughs> That reminds me of BK. There was a point in our interview when <laughs> I forgot the question, guys. Uh, part three, she was trying to avoid the globalization question. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she answered this way because she didn't want the ex she didn't want to mention globalization because she was so scared the examiner would follow it up. <laughs> Ganyan talaga nagagawa ng drilling eh. You suddenly become, you suddenly look ahead to the next question. <laughs> how funny, no? Parang the question is, how do you celebrate, how did you celebrate your last birthday? <laughs> Biglang, pinasok mo na yung past birthday <laughs> to save the question. Pero tinanong pa rin. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> sorry. You were anticipating the next question, so you answered it already. But the examiner still asked the question. Okay. And then the last one was what is the best time to eat snacks? Um I I've told him that um my work um the nature of my work really is tedious. And so every afternoon, I see to it that uh, I have my snacks to re replenish my brain in order for me to be um, productive. Okay. Uh, speaking of, speaking of which, you're back at work, Mike. Yes, sir. Okay. I know. 
Um, yeah. Alright. So, mandatory OT, ganun naman sir. Okay. And then, did you tell your boss already? No, it's not at the right time. Um, they knew it, sir, and they mm-hmm. are anticipating, especially now, sir, kasi open talaga yung mga slots. So, mm-hmm. from time to time, nag, ano sila, they frequently ask us about the status of our application. Para oh, I see. Para ma-replace na kami. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. We're going into the part two. So, it was described at time you did something difficult but successful it's another past tense mike but you're yes, ready sir. for this right and i was i was um lucky because i was able to drill this yeah and you um we drilled the pass out the past yes, tense here right i see was this the nplex story um my first time to work um abroad sir overseas Ah, this was in Macau. Yes, sir. <laughs> I remember these stories. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Kasi... of all the times we would drill every single day, right? <laughs> Sabi ko nga, huwag kayo magtawa sa stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Because I could um, use more um, idioms there. So, I was mm-hmm. so lucky. I was able to uh, use my reserves. <laughs> <laughs> Your reserve idioms. Okay. <laughs> Parang si BK, she was asked a question about a place that you visited and you recommend others to live in. Oh. She was so ready with that. She threw it all. 8.5. Wow, man. Her Silang story. Her story mm-hmm. about there's this place in Cavite. It's called Silang. It's very near Tagaytay. You know, weather is very cool and very cool. And stuff like that. She was yes, so man. ready. Okay. Um, the advantage is that, sir, um, I was able to express it um, aside from sp- spontaneously um, with emotion, sir. It's like really I was um, telling a story talaga. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. Um, coherent and maganda yung flow. Just like that. Yeah. It's not like it, it didn't feel like a test, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. And then... He had a follow-up question at the end. Did anyone know about your plan? Yes, sir. Because um, because I was so excited and I didn't really um, um, see the hand gesture if if oh. my two minutes is over. Okay. So I just answer. Ano? Um, parang long post. Hindi na long post kasi ano, sorry. Um, maybe he's still waiting for me to um tell more because. Um, but my story, of course, and and that night, you know, okay. and so, no, um, nung napansin ko na ano, she, uh, he's waiting. Parang I started to um talk again, but ano, pinigilan niya ako, sir. So, and okay. the final question came up. All right, okay, Mike. Um, I need to go back. How did, how were you feeling before the test? Were you uh feeling nervous? Or um, more or less more confident this time. There's still um, I I still uh, feel nervous, but um, I'm I'm more confident because of the drill. Yeah, and, because of the drilling, like this is another. Yeah. This is just another bubble, right? Something yes, like sir. that. Okay. And I I just really wanted to end this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then like uh, by the time the first question came up, it was I mean. It was just normal. Yes, sir. And okay. especially that um, it's a British examiner, so I could really um, it's feel it's like talking to a friend. I see. Okay. So the the examiner was engaging. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Okay. Did wait? Did you ever notice his eyes would? George, did you ever notice that? Like the examiner's eyes would grow bigger or maybe their eyebrows would raise whenever you throw some heavy word. Did you ever notice that, Josh? Because BK mentioned she did see that many times in her examiner. <laughs> did you I think notice? no, none, sir. None. Okay. Yeah, I think like he was 
how she was like uh has fixed expression. <laughs> okay. Do you know this girl Alice who just drilled a few days listening to BK? Alice. She did yes. mention that that uh it was in an it, it was in the interview. Her black examiner was really nodding and her eyes would grow big whenever she would throw. Alice also scored an eight point five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She would notice the examiner's eyes grow big and she, the examiner would like nod every time she, Alice would throw a heavy word, something like that. Funny, right? Okay. For me, sir, mm -hmm. um, what about my examiner, you? um, sir, I could um, see his facial expression whenever I, um, uh, when I mention some stories about my, for example, uh, how I celebrated my uh, birthday when I was a kid. So, sabi ko, sir, with themes and some clowns. Yeah. So, I could see her fa uh, his facial expression, sir. Parang natutuwa siya. Parang na oh, siya okay. sa story. I uh, see. So, okay. nakatuwa. So, I am right. more uh, motivated to talk. Okay. It's not the uh, poker. Uh, what's <laughs> that? There's this student poker of mine, friend. Beverly Fabian. She would describe the look of their, her examiner as the poker bitch face. <laughs> I was able to make the poker bitch face smile. Beverly Fabiana is another 8.5 girl. Because wow. uh, towards a part three, uh, she, uh, she suddenly slightly panicked. And then she said, could you give me a few seconds just to breathe? She said something like that. And then that's when she saw the examiner smile. Mm -hmm. Nice. No? So that's what Beverly was saying, Beverly Fabian. Uh, I was able to make the poker bitch face smile. <laughs> 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 and then I remember I was narrating that to the batch of BK. And then BK was saying, uh, Sana all on Beverly 8.5. Because BK's <laughs> name is Beverly Kim. So she said something like, Sana lahat ng Beverly 8.5. And that's exactly what happened to her. <laughs> Yung Sana all niya nagkatotoo. <laughs> all right. And then, oh my God, we're going to the part three. It was an out of the box. At what stage among young adults should they be successful? Oh my God, Mike! How did you deal with that question? Um, I told him. Um, in my opinion, I think. Uh, At what students stage who among young adults should they should be successful? Yeah. Upon graduation and accum accumulating all those um, knowledge and um, skills from. The academe, um, I think, is the best um, period of time where mm -hmm. one individual could um, set um, his or her goal and be able to achieve that at that um, period of uh, age. Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't panic at that question, right? Yes, sir, because I think I, I really... Um, it was kind of confusing, right? Yes, At sir. what stage among young adults should they be successful? Okay. Honestly, without the drill, I could uh, hardly answer that question, sir. I see. You would have panicked already by this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but throughout the drills, you were thrown so many hard ones, right? Yes, sir. And then you would say something like, time out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the second one is, what are the advantages and, this and disadvantages of being successful. Mike, let's hear your answer to this. Yes. Actually, sir, I just mentioned one advantage and disadvantage of okay. um, this particular question. Um, mm -hmm. I told him um, one of the advantages of being successful is that uh, you could use this status to um, able to um, extend a help to those who are in need or sinabi ko ata na um, um, you can... will serve also as uh, inspiration to others okay. while, the, while the disadvantage of 
is that some people tend to um, put their success on their head and oh, sometimes so nice. they, lost, they lost their direction. Yeah. I see. Okay. That's a so nice. So answer. Yeah. Sabi ko, yeah, parang mali kasi advantage. They put their success in their head. Their... Yeah. That was really nice, the way you said that. Uh, in Tagalog, lumalaki yung ulo, right? That's the like yes. uh, equ- equivalent uh, idiomatic term. No? But in English, <clears throat> uh, they... Yeah, in English, that's how you that's how you say it. It's getting into your head. Do you follow? I mean, all that success is getting into your head. Or you're putting all that success in your head. I see. But in Tagalog, lumalaki yung ulo. Okay. Your 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 head is growing big. <laughs> Doesn't make sense when you translate it. Okay. Nice, Mike. In the end. Oh, you, but it's you, only you, one turn on the exam. Sabi, sabi ko after the exam, I advantages pala. Isa lang na sabi ko. <laughs> Pero, yeah, okay lang. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't matter because there's no time. Uh, I mean, it's like Josh, right? Uh, he was just going into the disadvantage. And then, and then the examiner had to, you know, interrupt. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you can only think of one, then that's still one answer. Okay. okay. And then finally, what finally. are successful people lonely? How did you answer that? This was in the um, app, correct? Yes, sir. I was able to drill this. But um, if you're not familiar with the questions, somehow uh, confusing. And so I told my examiner, um, that's a difficult question. And then oh, he you, you smiled. Wanted to that. <laughs> yeah, he uh, smiled. Sir. So okay. parang normal talagang conversation kasi... Yeah, it is a tough question, right? But yeah, yes. I would understand why the examiner would smile to that. Yeah, <laughs> you were able to make a resting bitch face smile. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Fabian is so funny. I was able to make the resting bitch face smile. <laughs> and then how did you answer that? Um, I, I told you. Um, uh, People tend to be um, people who are successful tend to be lonely most of the time because these kind of uh, people are goal oriented and they're focused really um, on their um, objective. Um, for instance, um, doctors, especially those prominent doctors who always uh, spend most of their time in a hospital in honing their skills or um, in honing their skills and yeah. so um, I really agree that um, most people who are successful are often are often lonely okay yeah, no, no, sir. <laughs> okay. and then oh natawa ako sa uno are you currently living the part one uh, do you currently uh, are you currently living in your hometown was the first question correct Mike are yeah, you currently I... living in your hometown yes sir okay all right okay and then at the end of it all Mike what was the what was running in your head uh, as I've um... you got better like I feel this is a better test. Something like that. Yes, sir. I I, I could say that this I I, perf- I performed better than as compared to the previous one, mm-hmm. and then yun nga, I I use idioms. Uh, at the same time, I was really um, expressing myself with emotion. Parang, uh, it's like a normal normal conversation as compared to the previous one. Okay, so more or less, you were confident that yeah, I got yeah, this in sir. the back. Something like that, right? There was a feeling. Mas mahirap sa drill, sir, no? <laughs> oh, mas bugbug yung drill, eh, no? Mas bugbug yung And then repeatedly, no? Diba? Parang, yes, parang you get no rest. Yes, right? sir. And then so, I remember you would say that, uh, sir, I'm tired. Something like that. Right? <laughs> you know. <Yes. clears throat> uh, like uh, si Richelle, si Rich, uh, she had her... Uh, VTAC. We we now call it the VTAC, Mike. 
Yes, sir. We don't, we don't call it the lockjaw anymore. We call it the VTAC. <laughs> <laughs> she had her VTAC the other day, and then we went through the 51 part twos. My God, there. Yeah. And then I, in many of them, I could a- actually already answer for her. Like, oh, I know your answer here. And this next <laughs> one, oh, I know your answer here. <laughs> We've done it so many times. I know it already. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys. Um, okay. Just a few more questions. So you guys, you started out listening, correct, Mike? And Josh, yep. you were just listeners, right? Yes, sir. So that's how it yes, usually sir. starts. For... Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, who were you listening to at the time, Mike? Um, it was Mom Charo, um, mm-hmm. Ames, and who else? I was I was able also to uh, no, to hear uh, from Jo Joanna Bell Joa Bells. Joanna uh, Bells. Really? Wana Bells. August. August, Mike. Uh, September. Pero uh, once September. Lang I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, these people from August, right? Like Derek yeah. Hanning. The August people, the August close groupers. I see. Okay. And then Josh, what about you? It was the same. Yeah. More or less the same. Uh, like you were just a month apart, right? Yeah. Like, like mom says, mom child. Yes, of course. Yeah. Team. Yeah. And Sir Green. Mike and Sir Neric. Mike, Neric, yeah. Sir oh, Neric, Sir right. Mom Honey. Honey, yeah. See, Honey, of course, how can we forget Honey? She was so, she was so uh, drilled as well. Seven I forgot. Five. Yeah. Sheila Artista. <laughs> oh, Sheila Artista was joining in. She was helping out. Yeah, yes. Sheila Artista. Okay. And then, uh, so everybody eventually took the test. It's a good thing you, you volunteered, right, to talk. Mike. Yes, sir. Um, like, eventually, people are just going to pass. You're not going to see them anymore in the bubbles. So you just uh, volunteer. Like, my test is coming up next. It's my turn. Something like that, Mike? Yes, sir. No, um, especially no last week. Uh, and I mean, one week before my exam. So When you <laughs> leave. Yes, sir. I see. And then Josh, the same for you. Yeah, I think Josh was the same really, for me, sir. I, yeah, Josh was asking like, uh, "I wanna go next, sir." Something like that. Yes, sir. Right, right, right sir. After sir Eric exam, like. Right after I, uh, the exam. I took up a leave too. I took up a leave, yeah. a one week leave too, sir. To I see. To and drill it, every day. Every single day. Yes, sir. Then. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I also attended the midnight bubble. Yeah. Oh, you did. Uh, who were un- who were in that bubble? It was BK and Seth. Yeah, Ella so I met BK, Mam Seth, yeah, mm-hmm. and Ella, Ellen. Yeah. Okay, since it was your leave anyway, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, and then um, yeah, I was gonna ask about the work thingy. So the only way is to go on leave, correct? A week before your exam, two weeks before yes, your exam, and drill it every single day, hours and hours. Is it not yes, possible sir. to do it while you're at work, while you're working, while you have work? I think it, it's going to take longer. It was possible if your, if your test date was, or was uh, far from your... Farther away. The date was far, farther away, yeah. Oh, so as uh, as the test approaches, it's, it might yes, be for, time to file for a leave. Yes, Correct. sir. For me, I, I would recommend, sir, na, kan, uh, one week prior to your exam, uh, yes. you could uh, you should really um, focus na and then spend all the time. Talaga all the time. Drill. Yes, All sir. the time in the drill. Okay. Yes, all right. Secondly, um, how did you guys fix your past tenses how did you fix those your past tense problems that was through the drill yeah through the drill sir it's only through um, practice you, yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. only through practice and you uh, continuously answer um correct us so whenever 
we commit mistakes na sabi may bumubulong sa <laughs> may bumubulong na agad <laughs> may bumubulong yeah. okay was like work <laughs> so, was were was were was were <laughs> okay but on your own did you drill it as well on yes. your own uh, in my uh ano ba sa sarili ko sir ano um talagang <laughs> naging conscious ako sa question i mean yung sinabi niyo sir na be conscious of the question if it is in past tense you know you should answer it i see i see so, yeah yeah tinandaan ko talaga yun sir every yeah. question is meant to test something right yes yeah, sir yeah, okay natutunan ko sir i see but did you like record yourself or something face a mirror my um personally i didn't record myself ano sir, yung nakadepende ko sa inyo sa correction nyo. I, gusto mm-hmm. ko kasi may instant yung correction. In order okay. for me, mariretain ka sir pag may nagko-correct talaga sa akin eh. Mas All effective right. sa akin. Okay. Josh, what about in your case? Did you actually go through that extent? Uh, only twice, I think. Okay. Uh, only I recorded myself then. But most of the time, it was to, uh, it was through the Correction from your from okay, the drill. Bubbles. I yeah, see. From the bubbles. Okay. Uh, it was a constant reminder for us to be conscious with the tensing and the grammar. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what about the past tense, Josh? How did you do that? You just kept drilling on it. Yeah, kept drilling, especially the part two questions. Like, uh, if the prompt asks for a oh, past tense, yeah. Okay. So at the back of your head, you should be always conscious with your tensing until like it it will automate with your words like, I see yeah. your, uh, until it becomes automatic I see yes, okay. um, and then since you mentioned the questions did you bullet each and every one of those sets the 50 yes sir you did I, I did but not all mm-hmm. because there are uh, there are questions that have similar answers okay so yeah, like yeah, yeah. i i only incorporated uh, some words or arguments for in order to answer some bullets for example okay. uh, mm-hmm. the prompt about quiet place and uh, a day that didn't cost a lot and also some questions yeah yeah yeah, yeah. hard decision yeah uh, difficult yeah. task like yes that. yes so uh, you don't yeah, have to uh, have different answers. A lot of them have similarities, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm, what about my answers, Mike? Did you actually bullet? Or it was all in your head? Yes, sir. Um, actually, um, there are really questions that I'm not um, comfortable to in mm. telling a story. But yung nga sa prayer, nakako yung ano yung <laughs> yung oh, you yung got the ones you were hoping yes. for. Yes, and then. But I, I also apply yung kay Josh na there are similar um, situations. So um, because of the drill, mas confident na ako to um, express myself. So hindi ako talaga takot na kahit anong topic dyan because I, of, because I was able to gain my confidence. and okay, I was you, weren't, oh, you weren't scared and, out of the box anymore. Yes, sir. Because of the drill. I see. Way. Okay. Mm, all right. And finally... So you came from a previous uh, unsuccessful attempt. What was the difference, Mike? Uh, in, my case, uh, in my case, aside from the Philippines, <laughs> uh, I really mm-hmm. had to admit that I didn't practice. Um, I just... Um, there, were, there were no chances to practice that time? Was this an yes, online took... center as well? Yes, sir. Um, um, in Niner, sir, I just took all the materials. Actually, sir, nag-focus ako kasi sa, ano, sa listening, reading, and writing. Oh, okay. And just speaking, of, um, feeling ko confident ako, sir. So, hindi oh, pala gano'n. Okay. So, you you really have to prepare for, ano, for speaking as well. Oh, okay. And then, Josh, in your case, you self-studied. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what do you think was the difference? Yeah, uh, there was there wasn't the no was, uh, right? I guess that's the thing. There right? was a big difference because there, there I have I had no coach. I had no coach back then, and then mm. nobody uh, would give you feedback. 
Yeah, I didn't knew about the app, and also. Oh, I see. And also the, like the Código, I would say for the, the <laughs> reviewer. The reviewer. The reviewer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sample yeah. answers. Yeah. Yeah. With lots of lots of tips and and vocabularies like that. Okay. And still, I was not pushed to practice every day. Like yeah. I only had focus more on writing and other subtests, but I uh -huh. I sell I occasionally or seldom practice about speaking, but okay. with this kind of methodology, this mm -hmm. uh, it really had a big effect for my mm -hmm. speaking. Like I know I knew from that time that I I should have uh get a coach. Uh, mm -hmm. since uh speaking is like a skill that cannot be uh learned by my own so i yeah, really yeah, had, yeah. had to mm -hmm. get a coach oh. like because it's a skill it's not uh it's not theoretical right? and, uh, theoretical or some mm -hmm. self learning mm -hmm. uh course like that yeah okay yes. mm -hmm. sir, just to add yeah just to add to sir mm -hmm. um what helped me uh, as well as yung sir pag nagsasend ako sa Facebook na noon time bubble ganyan ganyan so so I, I think uh -huh. ano po, big help sa akin kasi um para naka program na yeah it's time to practice ganyan so um <laughs> ano mo prioritize mo na yon and then other things parang ganun and then okay. you're always reminding us sir kaya ang sipag sipag niyo sir kaya na kaya naman kung hindi kayo masipag na <laughs> <laughs> yeah parang ganun ano like uh, <laughs> Sometimes I mean, yeah, like it feels so good to work hard, something like that. No? Sarap yeah, yeah, yeah. Masarap talaga, no? It really feels sir, good. To no? add, sir, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. to add, you have you have to meet a lot of uh, examinees too. Yeah, like you have to get some to get some ideas from them. Yeah, can you imagine Especially in the speaking you know, answer? Yeah. Can you imagine having all in of the these mouth. earlier passers? That you experienced, right? Yes, sir. In fact, some, of the, some students are asking me now, sir, do you have a, a sample of BK's performance? And I actually do have a sample. We're going to be posting that on Monday, I think. So wow. it's so nice, right? What about the YouTubes? You listen to them, all of these passers, the earlier batches. Yes, sir. It's from, from the manuscript you sent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I did too, to... sir. Okay. Yeah, the earlier batches. It's and then I tried to, mm -hmm. yeah, I tried to compare myself, sir. So, oh, kaya kung mag-7, kaya mag-7.5. Yeah, you're so, getting an idea, parang... right? Yeah, you're getting yes. an idea. Uh, actually, I noticed that in <laughs> students, like, they kind of know what they're going to score. Like, uh, yeah. if they, they get a 6.5, for example, they know, they, they know already. This is a wrong score. <laughs> yeah. There. Yeah. Did you see the video on the three markers? Did you see mm -hmm. the video? No, like no, some no. of them yes, found 5.5. Can you imagine? Huh? This is so wrong. <laughs> Me, 5.5. <laughs> <laughs> And then they added three mark. It turned out to be seven point five. That's more like it. <laughs> like really impossible, but yeah, that's my score. Something like that. Like uh, I hear it from some students. Like uh, they would say, like ah, oh, this student she wouldn't score under seven point five. Something like that, right? You know it already, right? You kind of get an idea already what a seven is. You know. Uh, yeah. So when before as you went into your test, you already knew you were at seven. More or less, you're for, confident. For me, sir, yes, ninety yeah. percent because yeah. of the dream. I, I already know a seven. Something it's clear in my head. Or I, I should get seven because I, I should get a seven. <laughs> okay, for that yeah. one. Okay, you felt that way, Josh. Like oh, that performance that was a seven. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And then, uh, Josh, how did you find out about me? I forgot it. From a friend. Yeah, I was. I know that from before through Facebook. Yeah, I was kind of scrolling, 
about sa Oh, you just found that uh, found it by some narcissists, yeah, some by accident. Some narcissists that were posting about about how they passed their oh, bias exam. Oh, okay. And I see. There was there was a link for IELTS I said, so I was curious that time what okay. was this. So Josh, when what, I what convinced that link, I was yeah. You click the link. Yeah, uh, I what convinced me because I the drill. When I heard about no sir, the your email at first. Okay. Because I was uh, I was impressed by the methodology of your of your speaking yeah, drills. Yeah, the speaking and, drills, yeah. Yeah, yeah can you imagine? It, the so drills many... will only raise my skill. Right? Yeah, only the drill will raise the skill. The skills will not rise. I was really conv convinced. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, your skills will not rise on their own. <laughs> <laughs> it will not rise on its own. <laughs> it's not magic. <laughs> only the drill will raise the skill. Yeah, that's a nice battle cry. And finally, guys, I love listening to these passers, these dream catchers. Josh, any advice you'd like to give to the listener of this video? Yeah. You are the next YouTube set. My advice is not <laughs> yeah. Is not to book early for your exam. Like <laughs> make time uh, for if you have the you have the chance you have to take time for the drill and then uh, the coach or your other classmates in the bubble will mm -hmm. will show you if you are ready mm -hmm. or maybe uh, I think don't rely on your self-assessment too yeah it's okay. good to hear the opinion from other people and also from your coach and okay. also to be diligent with the bubble to attend it even if you are only listening, but you can have a lot of benefit from it, from copying some of the words, idioms, yeah, and strategies in answering. Yeah, yeah. I just actually posted Aldrin from Jeddah. No, Aldrin is uh from Alcobar. <clears throat> Aldrin was just a listener. I mean, he was just listening. He was he was just listening to BK and Ses and Ella, people in the midnight. Yeah, I, I didn't know him, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I he have, was mostly haven't the heard from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was mostly in the midnight. He wasn't talking much, just listening. And he scored a seven. Wow. Darn. Okay. Uh in the end, Mike, what about you? Um, yeah, for most, um, I think uh, they should trust you, sir. In assessment mode, for example. Um Yeah, trust, yeah. right? Because yeah. I mean, we know it so well, right, Mike? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, we know um, the stats, right? And Sir Juni said, um, you, um, improve, then you should really, you know, uh, give time to um, assess yourself and then effort, um, spend effort to improve, really. And then, pag sinabi mo Sir, na, that's nice. So, <laughs> so uh -huh, yeah. Um, okay. na siya, na encourage so to do well more. And then, by listening and copying the ideas of um, the dream catchers then um, uh -huh. initially I was really hesitant to use those words because parang it's parang um, malalim na for me parang yeah, 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 yeah. and then and eventually became comfortable to you yes I was really comfortable and I was uh, parang I feel like elated kapag ganun <laughs> oh I, I'm using it as parang normal words normally na. yeah yes and and like so through you would say, attending, you would say elated. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh -huh. Um, through um attending uh, every so many time kayo give your best and in every you know every pag surround robin if it, if it is your chance to talk give uh, robin. Robin. yeah yes yeah, sir um, ano, parang give your one hundred percent as if you are taking the IELTS exam and then yun nga, listen carefully sa correction yes, sir um. Eventually, uh, you'll get the habit of um, parang correcting yourself, and so it's Self really helpful. To you. Yeah, um, big help talaga yung drill po. And don't 
uh, lose hope kasi ako ay started nag-stutter and then yun nga very ano, ano parang wow. hindi ako believe sa sarili ko na kaya ko bang 7 but um oh. nung mga results na 7 7 is just normal in Einstein so yeah yes, it's kind of normal yeah. yeah so I, I thought um, thrillers, right? yeah. yeah I thought my US dream will end <laughs> so I yes, but it's not so thanks to sir really I am very grateful and uh, sana mat- yeah, maray- and, matulungan and we're so proud I mean I'm, I'm so proud of the dream that's why I drill every day because I'm so proud of the dream catch like these people they're working so hard so nice yeah. and then like it's so normal for us to get an 8 right an 8.5 yeah, yeah it's it happens so often right yeah. uh, and then I'm sure you you notice as well how your language has changed, right? Like, <laughs> yes, I right. myself, like I would really use this uh, what used to be high polluting words, and then I'm now using them so normally, right? Yes. <laughs> and then the tensing, I'm so conscious of it already. You know, stuff like that. I I should have used the past tense for that. I've learned a lot, really. Yeah, you learn a lot, and then you bring this now to the states. Whoa, <laughs> so nice. And in fact, the reason why I chose to interview the two of you at the same time, because, you know, a lot of people have this impression that you cannot score a seven if you talk slow. Yes. And I keep telling them, you know, we've had a lot of slow talkers who scored a seven. Just like the two of you. Can you imagine further proof? A lot. I've had so many of them. And then I just tell them, hey, just clean up your tenses. Uh, doesn't really matter if your answer is strong or not. Just come up with an answer. Use the cheats. Clean up your tenses. Don't change a thing about your rate of speech. You talk slow. That's, mm-hmm. that's who yeah. you are. Yeah. Right. And you will score a seven. Yay. <laughs> Guys, I'm so proud of you. Um, I will be asking yes, you sir. Like, yeah, four more things from you, but uh, that will be in the group chats. Um, yeah. Uh, Josh, I need a picture. <laughs> and then you will be included eventually in some videos. Did you see the video on the mirrors? The mirrors. That long video by Justin. <clears throat> What's his name? Uh in Berlin. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. I was going <laughs> to say Bieber. <laughs> About mirrors. There were like, uh, how many? 25 of them in that video, including Sheila Artista. That's why we use that word mirrors, because dream catchers like you, the students can see themselves. Like, yes. pa rin pala to. Yeah. you are now mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the joke of Mom Richelle. Eh? Like, uh, describe an object that you think is beautiful. <laughs> she would answer, an object that I think is beautiful is... Josh, that's your question, di ba? Yeah. An object that I think is beautiful <laughs> is a mirror. Every time I look at it, <laughs> I see something beautiful. <laughs> She was, she was joking about it. <laughs> Singing, guys. Hold on. <coughs> Hold on, guys. I'm just going to stop. Don't forget right your, your <laughs> answer. What's that, Josh? Yeah, about the fashionable persons. <laughs> yeah, describe a, fa- describe a, fa- a person who you think is fashionable. The I'm person is why- so funny. <laughs> A person I think is fashionable is the mirror. Every time I look at it. <laughs> no, sir, your answer was Maria Rivera. <laughs> yeah, everybody's answering Heart Evangelista. And then I would say, why doesn't anybody answer Maria Rivera? <laughs> I mean, she's my favorite. <laughs> and then Eric would come in with his story about Maria Rivera in school. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Before we get Sorry, carried away, that. before I tell that story, hold on, guys. I'm just going to stop the recording first. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I stop the recording, so one final round, Michael Fernandez, uh, band seven, 
uh, for the US for the Gupan. I'm sorry. 7.5, sir. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, 7.5. <laughs> Coming from a 6.5, correct? Yeah, correct. Band 7.5. I've forgotten why. Can you imagine we were just targeting a 7 and then you get a 7.5? Michael Fernandez and then Joshua Adorna from Tacloban. Coming from a 6.5 as well, Josh. 5.5. What? You came from a 5.5, Josh? Yes, sir. Oh my God, Josh, I know the caption for you already. <laughs> a 5.5 to a band 7. Oh my God, you guys are such inspirations to the current crop of students. Thank you, guys. Don't leave yet. We're going to go. I'll just go with one final story. Okay, hold on, stopping the recording.